How's it going to Andy WDH? Of course, I'm Andy. This is Big Brother Canada Season 5 Edition, Week 5, Double Addiction. Double the fun. Double everything. It was a freaking unbelievable week. The whole house was tossed upside down when this uh, double eviction starts. Now, let's talk about uh, the week and where it's going, what happened, and so on and so forth. And basically, a lot of things has changed this week. The whole house has changed. So, let's talk about what, what's going on, shall we? All right. Uh, the beginning of the week, who won the H-Wage, which absolutely, I was quite surprised and quite delighted, actually. William won the H-Wage. It was somebody that I never thought would actually win an H-O-H, but he did. All right. So, here we are. He's the H-O-H. Everybody's going up there to talk to him, right? Left, right, and center, and everything. But everybody but except for two people, all right? I don't know why in the hell they did not talk to him at all. You know, uh, put your pride to the side, put it over there, and go talk to him. Anytime there's an HOH, a new one, you have to go talk to him. Because you might have a chance to change the nomination. For God's sakes, go. You're there to play Big Brother, right? That's what you're there for. I, I don't understand that. But anyways, that's what you're there for. That's what you should be doing. But these people did not do it. The two that did not go was uh, Dylan and Emily. Now... This is the reason. Well, you know, we did not uh, talk game with them all season and so on forth, so forth, uh, with William and uh, Drake and so on and so forth. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. And I'm not criticizing them personally. I'm just criticizing their game play at this point. Look, I really thought Emily uh, had something. All right. I really did. I, there's something. She's capable. All right. She really is capable. If she would just think a little bit, because I really thought she had that capabilities. But no, this is what happened. Uh, Dylan and her were, I think they were just too much focused on each other and not on the rest of the house. Simple as that. Listen, when you're in a big brother house, you have to work, work, work. It's not competition that's going to win you the game, all right? It's your social game, how you talk to people, how you interact with the other side of the house if you want. Uh, so and so There's a whole, like, you got to do that. Every day you have to work hard to stay in the house. You got to work hard to stay off the block, for God's sakes. It's not that easy. Trust me, it's not. Okay, I've never had the opportunity to experience it yet, but it's hard. You got to work, you got to talk to people. You gotta build your relationship if you want with as many people as possible. You want them to be able to come up to you and talk to you about their problems. If you can do that, you got them. All right, compliment them, do something. But these two individuals did not not do that. So I was kind of disappointed in that part. So they got nominated. Of course, Dylan was not very happy. He was mad. He was sort of, oh my god, you know. These people are fake, so on and so forth. Well, you're there to play Big Brother. Okay? You should know this is coming. And you should have had a clue a while back when you were nominated the first time with your bestie. Alright? So you did not really do anything to transfer your game to a little bit more safe parameters, if you want. Never did that. Or Emily, for that matter. They work with people, but I, don't, I did not find they worked with enough people to talk to enough people. So that's what happened right there for them. And that's why they got nominated. Hello, hello, hello. So that's where it is. And of course, who wins the power of veto? It was Kevin. Now let's talk about Kevin for a minute and Drake. Those two, at some point, are going to butt heads. Okay, It's going to come because this is why. Who is in the middle of both of them? Okay, It's William. Okay, Because Kevin is trying to play William to a point... For his side of the alliance, if you want, with Bruno. Because Bruno is his number one, no matter what. And William is sort of like his uh, number two, if you want. So that's where that is. And uh, Drake, of course, that's that's her ride and die, William. She likes him. So she sees Kevin as a threat. And Kevin should also realize that they're a package deal. So he, if he, either two things he's going to have to realize. Either one, 
she's going to be gunning for him. If he hopefully he realizes that. If he doesn't, then he's in trouble. And if he does realize, he's got two options. Like I said, number one, go over to her and say, "Look, let's uh, talk. Let's try to build an alliance between me, you, and him, and go forward." And maybe bring Bruno in as well, but she doesn't trust Bruno. She doesn't trust Kevin. So he's got to figure out how to earn her trust. That's that's number one. Or number two, go go right after her because she's going after him. Simple as that. So I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I can see them button heads down the road. All right. So we got that, and of course she goes over, talks to Kevin. No, excuse me, not Kevin. Uh, William, sorry. To William, and she starts saying, telling him, "Hey, you know, Kevin is your, 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 you are his boy toy, okay?" And he didn't like it. He got all pissed off. Of course, he got pissed off. And then, then they kind of thought, "Okay, I have an idea. Make him use the power of veto, or either on uh, Dylan, or we, let's say, I think that's who they wanted to use it on." And they're going to tell him that they want to backdoor Jackie, and of course. Kevin is like, yes, because I want to work with Dylan. So he's all happy and everything else, you know, yay, yay, yay. But I don't think that he quite sold the story to him. Because just before the Power of Veto ceremony, he's sitting there thinking, oh my God, there's something not right. Just something is not lining up. His gut feelings tell him, there's something is not right. So he chose not to use it. Huge game move with his gut. And it paid dividends because Bruno is safe. So, of course, William was not very happy. He told him some not very nice things in his ear. So we're not even. I'm not going to repeat it. So that could be a potential problem down the road. But the biggest mistake that William did was whisper that in a moment of disappointment, anger, because. You know, you want to, you say, you didn't do what I wanted to do this time. You don't want to stir up the fire a little bit because when you have somebody like Kevin, this is gut feeling is telling them, hey, this is is not right. You got to be careful. All right. So we got that part. Kind of got that little scenario talked about and done. Now, the the second eviction, like I said before, uh, now Netta is now exposed okay she's no longer safe remember a while back who the hell said when she has a chance she's going to go after Nina? it was Ika. okay she said it point blank like you know to in the diary room and other people instead of Nina, which i'm very surprised Nina did not hear that but anyways so who wins the hoh it was cindy Cindy won the HOH, and right away, like, this is real quick, right? Bang, bang, bang. She's like, oh my God, who do I put up? Where do I put up? Oh, I know. I'm going to put up Jackie and Dylan. Safe for her, right? Because everybody wants Jackie out, apparently. And which I can't understand that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And she puts up Dylan. All right. So, then the the, uh, the power of video came out, and I'll tell you right now, I was frick I This was one of the biggest surprises I had uh, this week, Jackie, holy Christ, she friggin' dominated the power of veto. That girl, as far as competition, I did not think she had it. Wow, she won that, she blew everybody out of the water, and of course, she pulls herself off. Of course, we knew that was happening, and of course, that's where uh, Aika went to work. She she went right up to Cindy, and remember uh, a while back, she kind of alienated Cindy. Bad move. I said, oh, you got to put up Netta. You got to backdoor her. Let's put her up. Let's, we got to get rid of her. And then I was like, what? And remember, she had no preparation for the transfer, uh, uh, her game change, okay, from safety to being exposed, to be put up on the block and voted out. She well, she made a lot of mistakes. She won HOA. She won some competition. She should not have been, should not have won anything. I mean, if I would have been in there and I would have had, like, safety for a couple of weeks, what I would have done is take a few steps back, build my relationship with everybody in the house. That's what you got to do. So when the time from safety to non-safety comes in, that you're in a pretty good place. 
but she was not in a good place. She, you know, basically, I don't know what the heck she was doing. Like, if I was there, I would say, oh, Aika, God, that's a good game move. Yes, you're right, Aika. You know, it doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with her. Make her feel good. You know, because she has a very big personality, very strong personality. With somebody strong personality like her, what you got to do, stay on their good side. When you have a chance, then you can go after her. But no, she's got a strong personality. And, of course, Neta has a pretty strong personality too, right? Let's face it. And when she has a chance, she went after her and she got her. She got voted out and she was very, very upset. She cried, you know, she she didn't see it coming. Well, I saw it coming a while back. I think we all seen it coming though, a while back. That's where her, her game lacked this year. Is she did not see this coming. She her relationship with everybody was not as strong as it should have been. She should have been able to talk to people. It never happened. So, that's why she's out. Now, game going forward. Who do we got left? We got uh, Kevin, Aika, Bruno, Sydney, uh, Demetrix, uh, Damien, uh, Drew, or Drake, excuse me, uh, William, and Karen, and Jackie. Okay. Now, let's kind of talk about the, what's going on here. As far as pair-wise, and people I don't think are going to turn on each other anytime soon. Okay, obviously... Kevin and Bruno are a unit. Right there. Boom. So they're never going to turn on. So if I was HOH this week, if I was going to do start doing nominations from here to the end, I would, you know, those are two I would put up if I was in there. The other two, that does, depending on what position I'm in, uh, The Matrix and uh, Ika is another two. Get rid of Ika, of course, out of, out of the two strongest. And, of course, out of the strongest between uh, Bruno and Kevin... They're about equal, as far as I'm concerned, one to the other. And uh, who else? And uh, William and Drake are two also very powerful uh, couples, if you want, or duels. So they're dangerous. Now, if you know what, those are the, there's basically six of them that are paired up. Who is the, what I consider, um, alone? Well, uh, Damien is alone now. Cindy is alone, and Karen is alone. Those are the three that are alone. Those are three swing votes. Now, if I was those pairs, I'd be looking at that. Okay, who do we have to try to bring into it with us? Well, I would try to bring one of those three, or all three, into my little club. And that's where the game is going to start changing. Hopefully somebody in the house will figure this out. And really think, okay, where are we? Where are we going to go from here? Well, that's where it's going to go. Simple as that. We'll see. And oh yeah, I forgot about Jackie too. That's another one that's kind of uh, on her own too. So there's, there's four people. So we're going to see how that goes. Now, unless though, those four get together, which that's what they probably should do. We're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen in the next week or so. I already know who won the HOH, who's nominated. And there's something really unique that happened too this week that's different. We're going to talk about that next video. So thank you for watching. And if you got any comments, by all means, uh, we'll talk. Just go ahead and do so. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.